Hey everybody, it's Anthony here. Welcome to Retrosode number six. I want to explain to you guys something really awesome. I love Halloween, and today I'm not going to use any fancy video cuts or any kind of weird editing or anything to make it awesome. Today I'm going to tell you a story. It's story time. So, to me, Halloween has always been a great time of year. Unfortunately, it just passed. It was yesterday when I'm making this. It's probably like two days ago if you're watching this or whatever. It could be years down the road. I just want to tell you some really awesome stories. Once I was about, hmm, I'd say about eight. And I grew up in a small town, and it always seems small towns are a lot better with Halloween. Kids actually go out and trick-or-treat. You'd think going into a big city, which is where I live now, unfortunately. You know, you'd see tons of trick-or-treaters, but it just doesn't happen in the city. I miss small towns for that reason, because I loved Halloween. I loved trick-or-treating, I loved decorating, I loved all the initial planning that kind of goes into Halloween. But one year I was about eight, and ever since I was about, I don't know, probably about six, between six and eighteen, I was always the Grim Reaper. I was always going as death, and I just loved going as that. But I remember I was about eight once, and it started snowing on Halloween morning, and it didn't stop all day. There was like all this snow. And uh, I remember I was deaf, but it was so cold out, and my, my, my robe wasn't super big, so my parents wouldn't let me go trick-or-treating unless I was wearing a jacket. <laughs> so I remember going around trick-or-treating, and I was wearing like this big jacket over top of my death costume, and I had my, my scythe, which every year would be broken. Like, the tip of the scythe, where, like, because it was cheap plastic, would be split open, so there would be, like, tape and, like, fake blood all over the place. It was really quite pathetic. But I remember that really awesome. I, I have this vivid memory. I'm walking around a corner, and uh, I see, looking up, because there's, like, street lights, I, I see all this snow falling down, and I just kind of look down at my costume, and I've got like this robe and like this green like jacket that's all zipped up over me and I'm wearing gloves because it was so cold so I look like this really weird version of death and I remember I remember seeing that costume and I was, I was like oh, I really hate this but because I felt like such a tool but you know looking back at that I think about that is probably one of the best years I've had as a costume because it was so tacky it was just awesome I loved that <laughs> I remember another year. I was I was living. I lived on this um, street. It it was uh, kind of like they were trailer houses, I guess you could say. Places they weren't like you know trailer homes, but they were like places they would brought on the back of a truck. And uh, I go to this one house. It was probably about like seven or eight houses down the road. It was on the corner between the street that I used to live on, which was called Briarwood and Bay Road. It was right on the corner. And they had lights on, so I don't, you, need, you know how the, when there's no candy or people don't celebrate Halloween, they don't turn the lights on, but if they have the lights on and all that kind of stuff, that usually means that, you know, you can go and knock on the door and ask for candy or trick or treat. And um, they had their porch light on, so I, auto, I automatically thought, oh, there's the porch light, so it's, it's going to be it's gonna be open for candy and all that kind of stuff. And I go up to the door and I knock, and I'm dressed as death. And uh, this little kid answers the door. I, I, I don't actually know if he was albino, maybe it was the light, but he looked so white and sullen, and he was holding a teddy bear. And I was just like, man, this is actually really creepy. But then the kid says to me, I'm sorry. And he doesn't do that, he does that, he's like, I'm sorry. We don't celebrate Halloween, and I remember looking in the house, and it looked so scary. And there's just this kid, and he was just so white and pale, holding a teddy bear in one hand. And I was like, "Oh, okay," because I was about 13, and it, it like I remember after I left that house, I was like actually scared, because I'm like, like it just felt spooky, like something you would see in a film. So that was that. Um, and there's two more things I want to talk about because my timer on this is almost uh, out, and I don't want this to go too long because it's just me talking. It was about, I think it was grade 12. It was the last year before this year that I actually dressed up for Halloween. And I went as death, of course. But I, I, I changed it up a bit. I was like, I, I went as death. But I'm like, you know, I'm always going as death. I don't want to go as death. I want to change it up. So I went as robot death. And <laughs> I, I grew up in kind of a poor family. And I didn't really have a lot of money or time to make these awesome costumes. But 
I want his robot death, and by robot death I mean, you know how kids will always just put like a cardboard box on them themselves and call them a robot? I wanted like that. I wore my, my, my outfit and my cheap uh, scythe and all that kind of stuff, and I wore a box over my shoulder. And um, yeah, I want his robot death. It was pretty pathetic. This year I'm a Ghostbuster, because I loved Ghostbusters, and last night I went to go see the premiere. But anyways, I just wanted to say I love Halloween, and I'm almost out of time here, so... You know, happy Halloween. I hope you had a good Halloween, and uh, I hope you loved Halloween as much as me. See ya!